Hey everyone, Jay here from Project Unity, bringing you another UAP news video. The purpose of this series is to provide those who do not use multiple social media platforms with an opportunity to get the same information as those that do. In this episode of UAP News, the majority of statements are coming from film producer James Fox, creator of the recently released documentary film The Phenomenon, and then we will finish this episode off with some recent news regarding author and investigative journalist Leslie Kane, so make sure you stick around for that. But first off, we have some news from James Fox, who has been making the rounds of late, doing interviews with various radio stations and platforms. One of the more recent interviews was conducted by Stacey Wright for the YouTube channel UFO Congress, wherein James is asked if he knows of anything new that might be coming from the Pentagon's UAP task force, a group that was recently announced and officially acknowledged by the Department of Defense. Many believe the UAP task force to be a more public-facing continuation of the previously classified Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program known internally as ATIP, the existence of which was revealed via a front-page story by the New York Times in December 2017. When asked about new information regarding the UAP task force, James Fox had this to say. Do you know about anything new coming from the UAP task force? Boy, they get right to the heart of it, right off the bat. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, I've heard things, and um, and uh, I, I can't reveal the source, and I can't I can't go into detail. But I think something fairly big is coming down the pike in a couple of weeks, and I'll have to leave it at that. James also let us know that a high-level contact of his within the CIA had told him that his latest film, The Phenomenon, had been making the rounds in DC and the Pentagon. I got a phone call. We got a phone call from uh, someone in the, that was in high level of the CIA that just said, coincidentally, just wanted to, you know, let us know, the filmmakers, that, that the film was making the rounds um, in Washington and particularly uh, in the Pentagon. Next up is yet another statement from James Fox, this time coming from a recent interview conducted by Ryan Sprague, creator of Somewhere in the Skies podcast, wherein James Fox was quoted to say, I know unequivocally that something very big is imminent, and I know that for a fact, and I think that it's going to come in the form of a statement or something of that nature. What James Fox might be referring to here in regards to upcoming announcements is anyone's guess. I certainly haven't been told anything, and so we're all waiting to see what this new information could be, and in what form it might take. James did say that this may come in the form of a statement, so perhaps we can expect to see a compelling statement from some level of government, whether that be the Pentagon, or a military or intelligence branch, but this is of course all speculation, and we'll need to see where this all goes. And lastly, we have an extraordinary story from UFO and Survival After Death author Leslie Kane, who has revealed how last year she witnessed the full body materialization of a dead man who claims to be a 19th century Scottish physician. In an interview with book publisher and blogger Michael Time, she says that a seance with UK physical medium Stuart Alexander, the materialized man Dr. Franklin Barnett, walked out of the cabinet, stood in front of me, and touched my hair. He then placed both his large hands on top of my head, bouncing them up and down for about a minute and a half, brackets, that's a long time, close brackets. These were solid living hands. He spoke in his recognizable voice and said, I just wanted to let you know that I am a solid human being. He then returned to the cabinet and disappeared. Leslie first revealed seances with Stuart Alexander in her best-selling book, Surviving Death, a journalist investigates evidence of an afterlife, in which she says she witnessed an ectoplasmic disembodied hand and alongside other witnesses heard voices communicating. In an epilogue to Stuart Alexander's 2020 book, An Extraordinary Journey, Leslie wrote, the mind can barely grasp the fantastical nature of a human form emerging from ectoplasm walking, talking, touching, and then receding back to from where he came. And where is that? Dr. Barnett says he once lived on this earth. Is this materialization proof that we survive physical death? Or does it mean something else? 
I don't think we can answer that question with any degree of certainty, but this experience will live with me forever. Thank you for watching this episode of UAP News. Please remember to like, subscribe, and if you want to keep up to date with new uploads, hit the notification button too. Take care, and I'll see you next time.